welcome back we are in the third or four i don't know you can just see that there but we are in the lecture we will be where we will be discussing the transformation of objects so uh, again transformations can be done with the three ways so let's start from the first one the first one is that if you select any of the object and come up here to the properties panel so we are already in the object properties panel if you are not here you can just click on here so just click here and you will get these things the first thing is the location around the three axes so let me first show you what's the three directions so the x direction is that the red line you see so it's maybe you can call it uh, left right the y one is the front and back and the z one is the top bottom but it's not uh, showing it here but you can just access that okay so first thing if you want to move it to the this red line which is the x-axis you can just come up here to the transformation click on uh, here we have the location x so if i just add 10 it will move the if i just uh, write 10 here it will move it 10 to this x direction and if i want the same thing opposite so i can just minus it and it, that, that will go and if i want my cube back in the center i can just add zero and it will come up to in the center uh, but the easy way of doing this thing here is that if i hold the left click i can just slide it anywhere i uh, need it and if i leave the left click it will make it here and i just control z to go back and if i want to cancel this action in the meantime i can just right click and it will come up to the zero so the same thing can be go with uh, y and the same thing can be go with the z okay so that's the basic thing the same thing for the rotation so rotation is also in three direction the first one is z y and x y and z and if you want you can give a 90 degree so it rotate around 90 degree but it's not showing because uh, it's always the cube so it's not show but if i just say 45 it's do something like this so just reset that okay um so that's the one way of uh transformation of objects okay the second way is from gizmos so blender have a lot of gizmos so first we are covering this menu so before that i want to tell you these two about these two things the first one is the selection option so normally if i i can select with left click and also if i just drag i can do with the box selection it's called the box selection where we draw a box and anything uh, it get under the box it gets selected okay but we can change that if i just hold left click with this one i can just uh, switch between all of these uh, the one that uh, also use i also use a lot is the lasso so if i come up to the lasso i can now draw a shape that i want it and anything inside gate will be selected but i keep it to the box selection always and now this one is for the cursor cursor is this little cursor that you see uh, we can change the position if we do that but we won't change this one for now but later on we will do so let's start with the transformation the first one is the move so if i click on the move i get three arrows so now i can select the select my object with the with these arrows and i can change the location of it with the control z i can just reset that the same thing for the rotation i get these kind of gizmos and i can rotate that and same thing for the scale i get this kind of scale these directions and i can change these directions okay and the last one is the transformation where we get all the options together like we can rotate we can scale we can move the things at just one time so it it's i think more good option but 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 we also don't use the gizmos a lot the most thing that we use for transformation is the short keys because blender is always known for the short keys so for the moving it's grab and it's grab is for g so if i press g it grab but it grab freely 
and if i want any direction i want to uh, move it to any direction i can just put that direction so we have x y z so after the pressing g i can get give it in direction like y so now it only work with the y and i can confirm it anywhere with the left click and the same thing like z and x so i can give these three directions and if i want to reset it in meantime i can just right click and reset that so that's the thing okay for the rotation it's the r so first it move uh, freely but if you go if you now give any direction so it will rotate in that direction so that's the same things that we all uh, already discussed the third thing is the scale so it work with the s key so with the s key we can just scale up things like this and we can do it in the this direction that we need it so that's it we can uh, scale the light that's the different story we can just scale the camera but the camera is also not scaling it's just the icon scaling but we will discuss these things later and for now this was how to transform an object how to move how to rotate and how to scale things so see you in the next lecture